In February 2018, the Office of National Statistics, or ONS, published their latest report on immigration in the UK. Before we dive into these stats, one quick thing. The ONS organises their data on a September to September basis. This means that when I say last year, I actually mean between September 2016 and September 2017. Last year, around 220,000 EU citizens immigrated to the UK. In the same time period, 130,000 EU citizens left the UK. This means that the EU's net migration to the UK was an increase of 90,000 people. When you look at this trend as a part of a wider scale, you can see it's part of a large decline of EU citizens moving to the UK. Let's break that down a little further. Of the 220,000 EU immigrants that came to the UK, 111,000 came from EU 15 nations. That's Austria, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, France, Greece, Ireland, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Portugal, Spain and Sweden. 51,000 came from EU 8 nations, which is made up of the Czech Republic, Estonia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Slovakia and Slovenia. And 53,000 come from EU 2 nations. That's Romania and Bulgaria. Each of these groups sent fewer people to the UK than in previous years. The main reason for this drop is that fewer people are coming to the UK looking for work. 58,000 fewer people came to the UK looking for work last year than in the year before. In fact, 47% of people who are moving to the UK from the EU already have a job sorted. The second most common reason to come to the UK is to study. Only 16% of people are coming hoping to find a job. Interestingly, this trend is very different for non-EU citizens. Net immigration from non-EU countries was 205,000 people last year. That's the highest level since 2011. The majority of these immigrants are from Asia, with an estimated 135,000 people coming from Asia. As a result of the humanitarian crises all over the world, the UK granted asylum, alternative forms of protection or resettlement to nearly 15,000 individuals last year. 40% of these people are under 18 years of age. However, this is actually down from the previous year when 15,156 refugees were helped by the UK. There's a lot to take away from these stats. However, the biggest risk could be the lack of people coming from the EU. This could be a major problem for the UK. To find out why, check out the video on this topic. For more news and politics information, subscribe to TLDR News.